My name is LP. Uh, Ex-member of Company Flow, founder of Definitive Jux Records, producer of Cannibal Ox, Mr. Liff, myself. Um, you're in my home, basically, and 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 uh, kind of like the the center of action. This is this is where I live and dwell and make all my music, and uh, this is where we record a lot of the stuff that comes out on my label. Um, and uh, this is where. You know, this is where I hide from the apocalypse, basically, from the oncoming apocalypse, which is approaching very soon. Run, hide. But, uh, it's basically it. What do you mean with the apocalypse you're hiding from? Oh, you didn't know that the apocalypse was here? <laughs> you didn't realize that we were, uh, we were in the middle of World War III and that we're all gonna die soon? And... No? You don't know that? We're gonna die. Put on that other beat, yo. What's up with that? You know that joint is kind of slow, and it's like you looped it from a record. You like I can't find the sample. You know what I'm talking about. I think Crip is using that though. For real? Yeah, I think he, I think they gave it to him. Yo. They... Oh, he's on some snake. This is it, yo. For real, this is Crips. Yeah, man. No, man. Oh. Son, when did they give him the beat? Like two weeks ago. You're lying. Heads game. At the bar, yeah. I was away, B. That's us. They was at the bar, and they was all drunk. They was all drunk. And then, like, one was like, yo, I like that beat. You don't have, you don't have any new joints? Uh, yeah, but they, they kind of whack as shit. They're like beats that I make to throw out. I feel you. Beach, you made the warm up. Word. To make something real. When I was in my in my I just got production slump. Yo, I just got two ill beats from Facts, yo. What you talking about? Turn that up. Where I come from, it's basically, it's technically war every day. You could die getting a candy bar. You know, some people grow up in a world where like, that was simple, but for some of us, just going to the store can be an adventure. 
A lot of sirens, a lot of gunshots, corrupt police, just stupid, just the regular, just average ghetto. You know what I mean? I know some people who came up in slums. I didn't come up in any slums, but I came up in a pretty good, you know, the decent average New York ghetto. That's where my life begun. That's, you know, that's what life was to me at least. The day is long when you're poor. When you're a poor person, 24 hours is like 10 years. You have a basic day that could have been nothing but like pleasant thought and like relaxation, but you're stressed because you have a light bill and you're stressed because you need diapers for your kid. And, and, and that's a long day. That's seven long days in a week if you're poor. When things are right, you're not thinking about time. Time is leaving you. Time is just... Because you went to the movies and wasted three hours. Money is everything. That's just sad. Metallic wing pigeon. Birds of the same feather flock together, congested on a majestic street corner. That's a short time goal for most of them, cause most of them would rather expand their wings and hover over greater things. That's what we call inspired flight by the pigeons that gotta eat pizza crust every night. And let there be light was understood when a mic stand descended from up and above into the hood. And if my face is worth a thousand words when it's scarred, I would only hope that two of those are Coco and Mana to heal the wounds of the tissue scarred and marked the death of my womb but I've graduated, got my wings and you've got to let go of my constructed Lego, ego, waffle, halo Hey yo, I'm a black man with an African drum in my chest that beats in the opposite of the right, let me know I got a breath left Pigeon is basically a, it's a genius song, my partner came up with the concept Shamar Vortal he was like yo, birds that like survive, but like they're at the bottom of the food chain, but yet they still survive. They still make it. Birds with one stone. That's why I don't associate with bird brains with their beaks in the air. Pelicans with wide jaws that mean. From fish heads, you'll get tossed in the flames. And some archaeologists will find a skeletal frame. This is this this game encourages incredibly realistic carnage and destruction. It came out at probably the worst time it could possibly yeah. come out. There's absolutely no moral anything involved in this game other than the complete desecration of all humanity. What is it that's making kids in America flip the fuck out? What is it that's making kids in America lose their mind and consider death and, and the death of other people as an option? It's just a new age, you know? It's like when you were a kid in a, well, if, if for anyone in school, I assume it's the same anywhere. When you're a kid in high school, there are the people that are popular, there are the people that are not popular, and kids being what they are, unrestricted animals of, of dissension and insecurity, I think that back in the day, you, you, you know, you got, you know, fucked with, beat up, you know, you got abused, and it built your character or it ultimately destroyed you, you know? But uh, these days, it's the same thing, except that kids can just buy Uzis. 
kids have the internet, they can find Uzis, you know? Like, oh, 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 you want to fuck with me? Oh, okay, hold on. Send. You know, a lot of parents will probably think, well, we don't really have to bust our ass to really get into the head of our child. We don't really have to address what's going on with this kid. We don't even really have to know what's going on with this kid because he's well off. He's, he's sleeping well at night, you know what I mean? There's food in the fridge, there's Capri Suns <laughs> in the fridge, you know? He goes to after school soccer, you know? And a perfect example of that is I, there was two bombs that went off in my high school during my four years I was there. Really? In Long Island, yeah. Oh, shit. And, um, no, but, um, two seven once when I was a sophomore, once when I was a senior, and this is a public high school in Long Island. Long Island ranges from everything from the poorest of the poor to the richest of the rich, depending on where you are. And the richest of the poor. And the, yes. <laughs> and the poorest of the rich. Right. Subgenres of uh, each. But, I mean, you know, it ended up being some kids that, I don't, I don't know why they did it, but, you know, the kid went to jail, basically, because... I mean, I, and, and you know, my high school was, 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 you know, a public school, but it was like in a decent neighborhood, you know what I mean? And, and it's strange, you know, it definitely makes you think, but it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, see raised walls up in here. <laughs> ASAP Rock, we live in a bad life, you know what I'm saying? Every day is a struggle and a battle for Asgard. The vein I have you stressed out during your labor days. So remain, stay tuned, cause this life is only the prelude. When the spirit you grabs you, you better have a strong hold on your soul. Cause your magic wand could become a broken pole. If you tripping on snails, you will hide. Cause my men form on tracks and break backs and sample spines. Make the spin that going back to the track seat. While you paranoid, like big men standing behind Keanu Reeves. You don't want to get like your space in the Ponzi. <laughs> Yahtzee the Chachi. Joni the Joan of Arc. Stone the Bark. Motors Bark. Dogs meow. Schools burn. The churches get bombed. Life is a sitcom. We get on. Flip arm. Switch arm. Spine tangle. Mind strangle. Caucus soy. Negro niggernoid. Rotch back. Backpack. Jan sports. Track and stack. Bisexual mental fuck. Intravenous dope dust, and I'm still not high enough. Ceiling stuck, ground jealous, cause we on some shit off the rack of propellers. Bean curd minstrel, soy be natural. Gravitate raps that grab you. Open your mouth again and I open your wrist. Vast air, sort of like a word, contortion this with a wrist and a list with a tongue like, yo, Jedi might, A sharp, get on the mic. Get on the mic. Life is like a sitcom, and you're just another character for me to spit on. Mm. They want to sit down. They want to have the television blazing like boob tube constant with an intravenous level, just so they can pump these forever 24 7 mm. CNN mm. fucking devils mm. into the bloodstream. But the blood screams and blood vessels and scud missiles get shot out of the mouth. What? I live on the second floor. Luca moved. My name is Aesop Rock, but you can call me Bazooka Tooth. The ones that shoot out of the mouth, under the tongue, like thunder that sprung. Similar to mattress, actresses get torn out of their dress compartment. I start shit just to spark it a little higher. The level is a liar. MCs get shot down from the sky like planes and MiG-22s. What you fronting for? What you want, money? It's just a hungry MC with a style that's ugly, sitting next to C-Ray Walls, getting lovely. We weirdos, super galaxy Voltron heroes. <laughs> Call me Tank Elo. I can hear the hit before it come. There it goes. There she blows. The average story of a groupie. I'm Muhammad. Can the mountain move me? I was drawing all the time, so that's what kept me busy. I'm a cartoonist. Yeah, I do cartoons. That's how I met all my music partners, because we went to art school. So this is my graph character. It's just a classic image of like a b-boy. It was originally Bronx boy, but um, you know, it transcended into just a person, you know, there's b-girls, b-people, <laughs> a person that basically is, you know, down with the culture of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And like certified, like it's a part of them. That's what makes you a b-boy or a b-girl, you know? But it, you know, it definitely... You, you were a b-boy yourself as well? 
Yes, yeah, yes, what? original, original B boy. Because I'm a B boy because hip hop has always been a part of me, and now that I'm not only a fan, I'm a part of it. I feel totally complete. You know what I mean? Like I contribute to the culture. I contribute to the art. It's that dyslexic catastrophe I stay on. I might have to smack your syntax into the ginger snaps out of it. Or you could remain a sweet cookie cut out that's counterfeit. My mouth cause a ripple, your mouth cripple. Cannibal Ox is revolutionizing hip hop. Underground and all that. It's too bad that, you know, at least here in the States, hip hop isn't hip hop. Unfortunately, hip hop has just turned into this like disgusting, shitty. I wouldn't even call it art form anymore. It's just, it's just terrible. It's a hideous monster. And people talk about things that they don't even know about, you know? Gucci and cars and clothes and all of this. It's just fake and it's nonsense. And it's like, nowadays, you gotta, in order to get a record deal, you have to talk about that bullshit. And then you got the young kid who's starving, who's actually talented, but he ends up doing a song and dance because they gave him a wild advance check. And he doesn't even know, he doesn't get no royalties <laughs> until that advance check is paid back. So he done brought his mom a house, brought himself three houses, got his girl a house. <laughs> his single goes nowhere. He owes his label money. He's bankrupt. You know what defines hip hop nowadays? MTV defines hip hop. Defines define hip hop and define the state of music. MTV. Whatever MTV plays is the new shit. I cannot front, yo. You know what I mean? They do have a huge influence. Yeah, we ain't even the shit anymore. You know that, right? Yo, they Boy bands. It's like if you got you got to, you know, hip hop ain't isn't MTV's number one cookie anymore. It got Boy bands. Yeah, it's, used to be you know, hip hop. It's in sync and shit like that. I guess they had venom for Lennon. Lennon. To leave blood soaking in this cotton and Lennon. Lennon. It's good. You on it. I'm gonna fill it in. Let me let me uh, let me hear it. I forgot what I dropped. I yo, yo, they laughing at you while I'm looking at her in the third row. Your mic's broken, but mine works like a mistletoe. I like champagne. I like women. I like cars. But I just don't feel the need to rhyme about all that. I don't feel I can do it justice. Like a mistletoe to the beginning echo of up. What? To the beginning of the rhyme. That is the beginning. Oh, my bad. Oops. Let's be real. You know, you don't want to hear about my stories about eating mayonnaise and <laughs> black pepper. You want to see a beautiful girl on the beach laying on a BMW. Let's be real. You don't want to hear Pigeon. You don't want to hear Iron Galaxy. You don't want to hear that. It's sorrow, it's pathetic. This country, our country, this generation, we kind of feel like we're outside of the rules of history, you know what I mean? We kind of feel like we have established something so great that it, it is now completely sort of like separate, or parallel, but different from the rules of reality and the rules of history.
this country fucks up by sort of allowing ourselves to believe that we are above that, allowing ourselves to believe that we live on a moral high ground, when in reality, we're just the fucking same as every other dirty ass raw government out there. We want fuel, we want power, we want control, um, we want money. It completely comes through my music. It's what I'm, it's what I'm about. It's, it's the thing that I feel that I want to express artistically, you know what I mean? It's the, it's the viewpoint that I'm grounded in, that I come from, the fear of power. You know, in order to spark, like, you know, people's minds, you have to take the extreme point of view or else motherfuckers aren't going to listen. I've had friends challenge me to make happy beats, you know? Someone once bet me $500 that I couldn't make a beat that wasn't dark. And uh, I still haven't won that bet yet. Like, I don't go for gothic or scary or evil. What I go for is um, something that gives it a little bit more of attention. Um, you know, something that, something that provides a little bit more of an unsettling, I, you know, I like, I like to, my goal, especially with doing the Can Ox album, was to produce something that had elements of beauty and at the same time, elements of sorrow. If I'm working with someone else, I look at the MC as the actor and myself as, the, as just the person who's providing the score for the film. Blade Runner is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm a little bit obsessed with Philip K. Dick, who's the author. It, it really fucking just ripped my head open when I was a child. You know, I was always into fiction, and science fiction to an extent because it, it's, you know, we're talking about extremes again, you know what I mean? Well, it's What happened here would be considered before science fiction even. People you know. would think it was science fiction. People would think it was a fucking Bruce Willis movie, you know what I mean? I have, you know, the whole point is that it's only science fiction until it's reality, you know? And I think that a lot of people don't realize that. So I give a lot of credit to people like Philip K. Dick and movies like Blade Runner for whatever purpose it has, because at the very least, they're taking the logic, they're taking the logic of today's society and creating an extreme. They're throwing it a thousand years in the future and creating an extreme. And regardless of how much truth it has inherently just as a story, it certainly has a lot of truth as a metaphor.
either you like reincarnation or the smell of carnations. The samples, the flesh, and the beats, the skeleton. You got beef, but there's worms in your Wellington. I'll put a hole in your skull and extract the gelatin. Must seed faith, move mountains. This is the jailhouse rap. Rock hall, like places in a cell block. You'll catch a Kennedy curse from the speed knot. Son, I'm mad cause I think different. Plus your girl's sex technology, I wanna plug in. Now every egg my goose lays, stay golden with your poker face. I punch you in the stomach and you fold it. Fold it. Everyone is here all the time. I don't think there's been a point probably in a year where there haven't been at least three people all together. This is Aesop Rock. Aesop Rock is uh, <clears throat> the progeny of, 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 of the new generation. <laughs> Aesop Rock is the representation of, uh, of one of the directions hip hop is going in the future. And oh, yeah? uh, he also chain smokes. He smokes four packs of cigarettes a day. Emotionally, I've seen the bottom of the barrel just based on some things that, I, that have happened to me. I put a lot of pressure on myself to, to, to sort of live up to the standards of my, of my that I set, my, I set my standards really high for music and for, and for my life. And, um, you know, sometimes I, I end up stressing myself out to the point of where I really I can't do anything, you know, and I can't. I've had I've had lots of problems just sort of operating. I mean, I've had I've had issues with depression and, and sort of sort of random uh, suicidal tendencies over my life, and and, and I feel like that th this year it's sort of maxed out, and I definitely hit a point where I just stopped. I hit a low point where I couldn't leave my house because I. If I went outside, I would get dizzy and I would fall down and stuff. And I mean, it was a medical problem. And it was oh, a, Jesus, you know, yakety so. fucking schmackety. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, I was just getting deep, too. Sorry, I know. It was I, emotional. I feel that. He's going through a hard time, man. We all go through hard times. Oh. I think that uh, that's what we do, man. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what we do. We're trying to live and, and trying to survive these very strange times and, and we've got friends who, who we lean on when we're in trouble and when we don't have our shit together. That's what we do. That's what that's why Def Jux is important to me because, you know, we're all friends. You know what I mean? It's more of just like a career opportunity. You know, it's like it's a system of support. It's it's we're banding together, which we're we're more powerful in numbers. <laughs> but then you're on it. Yo, I bet you I can yawn for an hour. Yarn Cause your for style's hour. all dry with no rain shower. No power pellet like Pac-Man chasing ghosts. No ghost world. Only thing I seen is ghost girls. Chasing them down a hallway with a tall spray can cry lawn. Try on this disguise, man. It might size you up, suit yourself, fit it. Or suit yourself or I'ma loot the shelf for every black book before I hit it. Shit it out the backside, attack ride, glide on the pterodactyl wing. Watch the fractal swing to the left side. Crash I just like poetry. I, I'm just interested in poetry. You know? I'm just, uh, I'm basically, um, I'm into, like, creative speech. You know, I like when someone can say something and it means, like, many things or it's multi, you know, multi-layered, you know? So I basically just got into it because I was... It's visual, you know what I mean? It's very, poetry is very visual, so you know. It's for the ears, but it's visual. All right, I can read this one. It goes, I just wanna get my point across like Jesus. So I look to the sky like Jesus. You got answers, cause I got questions. Fold my arms, peep the clouds, and receive lessons. First we stop stressing. Then we learn mathematics and we count blessings. I picked up the pen at the age of 10. Fire's pretty and it burns, and I learned that then. After school, we would slap box, and my man Terrence had jokes on whoever had loose socks.
I know cats been through some shit. I just want to get my point across like Jesus, meaning Jesus. So I look to the sky like Jesus, like I'm looking to the sky like, hey God, do you have answers? Cause I have questions. Mega law, star seen only afar. The physical of bar chosen, my craft is balls. The rebel righteous, the stabs and scars in the heightness. Rap live, graph artists and ghetto writers united. Starving with one table and no mic and still get it all bombing and flow nice. Spit vomit and throw dice Taking chances in life Trying to get by and stop all the time Getting high, gotta clear mind and stay focused Avoid serpents and worship life We like merchants, street peasants With these lessons Live building, pass away and keep stressing Thinking how we gonna master days with passion That's why we rap this way From Manhattan, 115 to 135 We pigeons became phoenix with open minds To open yours, flow the raw Innovative Phoenix. So when you see me shine light, better scream Phoenix. The God locked in a cell, scream Phoenix. Moms can't pose bell, scream Phoenix. There's so much music out right now that is designed to have fun and designed to dance and designed to like fuck, you know, and music that is designed to, to basically be good, you know, for your soul and to be an excuse to let go. And there's also, there's got to be that music that. You know, that, that, you know, these are the writers of our generation, man. These are the new authors. And books are not as prevalent these days as music. Kids are not, because kids are, you know, kids are not going to write books. Kids are going to write records. And, and these, are gonna think, these are going to be the things we look back on to understand what was going on in our time. These are the things we're going to look back on to get an idea of what life was about in the, in the in, you know, in the 21st century. I start my city with a brick, one brick. then add another brick. Brick by brick, I manufacture homes for fallen angels. I ain't no great Samaritan, that's just the way the game goes. Respect the polars, but acknowledge middle value rainbows. My sound's turned up from dream factory outlets. Slinging bottled prosperity for the kamikaze colonel. Yeah, Bronze the match that burned his Nazi journal. Rotten verticals amidst the blatantly horizontal models, then swallowed by famished potholes. And I'm tired, I'm tired up on these functions. Kill the cotton candy clouds and hunt every Justice League. Another knuckle dragger dungeon breed. Run, breed, sin, bellow. Wild a scream through your style to hear the echo. Like them flinch for the great granddaddy payback when little Billy bought a tugboat. Now he thinks he's Captain Ahab. Fashion takes for the peg legs, birds, and eye patches. Learn that lesson, you'll be swashbuckling with the best of all. Whipped over spilt milk and got your crowns wet. The room reeks of a thousand bayonets. I fish your vision with a line longer than your most walked meridian. Connecting life with that little species of idiots. Now, officially scraped barrel bottom. A stop rotten apple to the core, but y'all ignored him. Well, I know a flatter made of porcelain. And once I get tired of holding this gavel up, y'all.